I am very, very happy for this opportunity to celebrate Christmas in a very simple way with you, you know, and to be able also to express uh, my personal greetings to you, my Merry Christmas, plus, of course, uh, my best wishes to all of you that you will have peace, joy, prosperity, as well as happiness during this uh, holiday season. So, kana ang akong uh, ginahope, no? kana ang mga best wishes ko to each one of you. As I would like to thank you also for being good development partners. So, I would like to look at the media as development partners. Kasi kahit ano naman ang gagawin natin sa probinsya, kahit anong gagawin ng team pag uh, hindi naman napopromote o hindi naman na-recognize ng public through you, your, to you, no? so medyo hindi pa masyado enlightened din ang public. No? And I hope that you believe me when I say that it is my sincerest intention that when I come back, really to to, to develop this province, no? I know that we do not deserve to be a poor province. We don't deserve. We do not deserve to have uh, people who are really that poor because we have what it takes to be rich. We are not necessarily rich, but more or less uh, um, adequate. So, at my my primary objective is really defeating poverty. So it is poverty elevation because it pays me to think that now we are again the second to the highest in poverty incidence in the whole region. So next to Dago Occidental. But, and I know that I also work hard to making this province uh, uh, taken from the list of the poorest provinces in 2007 because in 2007 we are one of the 20 poorest provinces with a poverty incidence of 46%. And when I left in 2016, we were awarded the, uh, uh, the as a province with the biggest reduction in poverty incidence, and we were out of the list of the 20 provinces, from 46 to 27 percent. That was quite a big reduction. Uh, this time it seems, for a lot of reasons, particularly perhaps uh, due to this pandemic, so we are now back to second to the highest in poverty incidence. So all of the programs that uh, I'm trying to um, activate are all those that would address really our poverty incidents. So, so what are economic drivers? These are tourism and agriculture because we have a takes to be in tourism. And I promise you by next year, we'll be the top province in the region. Okay, so just to update you on what I'm doing, of course, on tourism, we had our summit, we tried to organize all our local tourism development councils, and then later we will have the young sectoral, you know, tourism councils like accommodation, or restaurant, or um, uh, Hotel and accommodation, restaurants, transport, all of these sectors. So we will be organizing them so that they will all be prepared to really meet the requirements of tourism next year. And I'm starting to talk with the Philippine Airlines for a maiden flight, which will be held early next year. Even without uh, completing the expansion of the airport. So they are interested. But we really have to show to them, together with the tour operators, of the uh, accredited tour operators of the whole country, na magkita nila what are our tourism sites. No? So for now, we are rehabilitating all the tourism sites at the same time, starting from the entrance park or the welcome park 
at pagtatagan pa na iba na yung tao to hamigita ng parola so pa nga then uh, up to tapusan point of Caraga now tapusan point of Caraga for those who have been there uh, it used to be a science there used to be a science discovery museum there but this time I have chased it into a Mandaya Heritage Museum where we will be presenting the Mandaya traditions, the way of life in a diorama. So having been the services of one good artist who will translate all the plants into a diorama. It will be a better uh, thing now, you know, the present point of course. And then, then to Bacanga as well as to Katil and Boston Avenue. In Katil, uh, we're trying also to encourage more and more developers and owners to develop with the one street of uh, the Green Sun, which will be uh, the next surfing destination, being fronting uh, the Pacific Ocean. And of course, uh, the Aliwawag Falls, which is uh, the star of all waterfalls, will again be uh, rehabilitated and there will be new features there and so with the Mayanit Hot Spring also in the tail. And, and then sa Boston and Tundin, hopefully we'll have a cultural settlement in Boston. No? And then I heard that the Kabugao Islands of Boston is now being developed by one big uh, entrepreneur na parang high-end ang development doon. So after all of this, uh, it's been rehabilitated and enhanced. I will organize a long caravan starting from the entrance of our province, which is uh, Pintatagan Banay Banay, and making stuff stopovers to all, in all uh, municipalities where there are tourism landmarks, so parang ganyan, so that we will be able to feature uh, the tourism loop for the whole province. No? So uh, that means I also, uh, again, uh, need your support in that so that we can be able, we can promote our province as really uh, tourism, uh, tourist destination, no? uh, not only of the region, but of the whole country. So I tell you that uh, uh, these are all my plans as far as tourism is concerned. So on agriculture naman, we encourage natin mga investors who are coming also to develop mga agricultural facilities no, for, for our farmers. So, so we are thinking about the bamboos that uh, are now the ano yung ito ngayon ng flavor no yung uh, bamboo production because these are all alternative to wood. So with uh, uh, with investors signifying their intention to invest here in those uh, kind of uh, trees and crops. So I think there will be more facilities that we build here. So there will be more processing plants. So it means more employment opportunities for our people. And then of course, um, our farmers or planters will be encouraged to plant more and more crops or trees, no? So madami tayong mga plano on that. But uh, basically, this is all meant to address the poverty incidents in our province. So I ask you to join me in this effort because this is really my mission. Uh, I hope that uh, we will succeed. I, so perhaps hindi naman siguro kung magkaisa tayo, diba? It's convergence, no? It's the uh, strategy that uh, we have adapted for all other problems of the province, especially on insurgency. So yung convergence na nagkauban, nagkahiusa ang tanan, gobyerno or hindi sa gobyerno, non-government, private sector, uh, media practitioners. So kanakyot ang mga components sa convergence that uh, would assure us success 
in all our development programs. So I hope na uh, again and again, no, you will help us in promoting this, in enlightening our people, so that we will all be one in achieving our goal of defeating poverty, of making our people more productive and getting employment for all, a lot of our people, and perhaps uh, uh, for also development of small uh, steel enterprises, di ba yan importante? So for now, like, sa tourism, ang kailangan natin, usually hindi natin ginagawa yan, yung mga development ng mga uh, industries na gumagawa ng mga souvenir items. Kasi if you come to Maggie and people ask you, saan ba kami pwede bumili ng aming souvenir? Wala. Di ba? And ultimo po kayo imported. Di ba? So, ultimo buko pa ay wala dito. Wala kang nakikita dito. Di ba? So, I think yun ang mga things that uh, we need to uh, motivate uh, people to to think about this, no? to become enterprising in such a way that we will make use of all these opportunities. So, yan ang mission ko, and I hope that uh, you believe me that uh, I am not a perfect uh, leader, but at least mayroon tayong direction. So, we are setting a direction and we are all um, determined to really accomplish our goal. So, yan ang importante. So, again, to my development partners, thank you for, for this, uh, for honoring us, for honoring us sa likare, no? Kasi kung minsan si Karen nalo, nalulungkot, pang hindi mo awayin si pare. <laughs> so, pang hindi mo awayin si Karen, no? So, but anyway, so ganyan lang talaga ang trabaho ng Karen, yun, walang personalan, di ba? So, if there are mga misunderstandings, no? Alam naman ang karamihan ang aking number, di ba? So, I don't know what Karen has in store for you. I think, you be happy siguro, no? After all, every day is Christmas, di ba? So, once again, thank you for this privilege of being with you today, tonight and hope that we can have a very fulfilling relationship. So thank you.